time. What is up and welcome back to Cajun Tow Boater Reviews. My name is Bo, aka the Cajun Tow Boater. And today we are reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection remastered Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. And it's the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers and their of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And they're doing their remastered versions of these. And just from the box art, that figure looks pretty good. But it is one of those package free and you can tell it is kind of loose. I'm trying not to shake it too much. Um, but they did a new head sculpt of uh, Fatrini and everything looks good. They got the um, three forms of the blade blaster. It comes with a morpher and the hands to hold the morpher which is pretty cool as well. Um, and civilian head and a uh, nice morphin lightning effect so let's go ahead and take a look at the box so you got that you got that artwork they even did artwork for the 30th anniversary on the side there you go and the back so if you like power rangers let me know if you watch power rangers once and always let me know how you liked it um i know some people are kind of on the edge on the fence about it but um I enjoyed it so let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and take this out of the box move over to the desk and check for any imperfections make sure we got all the all the accessories but first cue that intro Alright y'all, here it is out of the box and I love the new head sculpt, the new pinless body, um, which the other Trini wasn't quite, the arms were pinless but the um, the legs weren't and I, I'll, I'll have them to compare. Um, here's the accessory she comes with, she comes with the morpher and the morphin, the hands to hold the morpher. She comes with the lightning effect, just like the remaster Billy. Um, the helmet, the helmet does have some paint imperfections on it. You can tell they over painted the saber tooth tiger tooth. There's some paint run over on it. Um, they didn't paint the mouth as much as they did on the uh, silver, like on the Blue Ranger helmet. But it is a little bit wider than the other one. Um, and this is a new head sculpt for the saber tooth tiger helmet. The eyes are more um, or less rounded on it. And here you go. You can tell it's a little bit dark, a little bit lighter. The original one's a little bit darker. It's more round. There you go. You can tell by the eyes. Or the eyes are a little different. She does come with the three blade blasters, the versions of the blade blaster. And they still have some some bad paint imperfections on them. The paint application. Um, she comes with the karate hand, the karate chopping hand, the closed fisted hand, and the gripping hands. I kind of wish they would um, they would have done like the praying mantis hands. That would have been awesome. And then we got the power daggers and these seem to be a little thinner than from the original one and you'll see I'll have her right here um, so let's go ahead and get her off the turntable and we will compare it to the original one compare the face sculpts the head sculpts and the um, and the paint applications and all of that so just give me a few moments alright y'all and here are the two figures back to back the original and the new one, the remastered one. And as you can tell, the remastered one is a little bit lighter. The This one has a darker paint application. The arms are a little bit thicker, it looks like. Um, different different body type, different. Uh, it's the newer body type they've been using. I do notice there's some plastic cuts that, like, some of the plastic wasn't all uh, scraped all the way off on it. That doesn't bother me. 
because uh, it's in places that I can just kind of uh, chip it off myself. And here's what I was talking about. You can kind of tell with the power daggers, it looks like it. No, they're the same size. I thought it was a little. I thought they were. This these were bigger, but no, they're about the same size. Um, the head skulls, both of them look great. So we get this is the new Trini head sculpt. Looks just like Twee Train. And this is the older head sculpt. And it did kind of look like I mean it looked like Twee Train as well. But overall, I mean, they are per both pretty good figures. I do like how they added the black to the belt, which is good. Um, this, like I said, this one is a little bit darker. Her triangle goes up a little bit higher on the older figure than it does on this one. But this one seems more some. Uh, this one seems more even than this one. This one kind of goes to the side and everything, but different body shape, uh, not shape style. Um, overall that the saber to tiger coin on the remastered belt looks a lot better I mean hell they even got more detail on the saber to tiger coin on the morpher it's kind of in the dark to kind of hard hard to tell with the shadows and everything so let's move this one aside I'm gonna take this morpher out of her hand and we'll do the articulation. All right. Okay. There we go. So her head's on good. She can look up that much. Look down that much. She can do a full 360. She's got butterfly joints. Got a bicep swivel. She has double jointed elbows. Hold on, real quick. There we go. A little T and Y pose. She can split this much. It does have the drop down waist, but joints, but they go right back up. Got a thigh swivel, and she's not that stiff. Um, this is what I was talking about. There are some places where some of the plastic wasn't quite cut off, but I mean, that can just, I'm not going to say anything about that, even though it should have been cleaned up, but. It all looks good. I can just pull that off and everything. All right. So she's got double jointed knees. There you go. It's a little stiff. All right. Um, there we go. Put that back. See, I was trying to take it off, and some of it fell off when I bent it. So that's a good thing. She's got a boot boot swivel ankle pivot she can kick up this high so we can go down that low so we can go up this high and I do notice they keep they do they have yet to put the black around the boots at the bottom that's not something I'm gonna complain about because that's been happening a lot for a lot of the figures and Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and put her morpher back on. I do like them coming with the morpher. I wish they would make like they give they always give us civilian heads. Maybe they should make one with the civilian bodies with the morpher. Cause that would look pretty cool. Alright. Oh. The... There you go. And that is the 30th anniversary remastered Yellow Ranger, Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. And overall, um, because of the little pieces of plastic that are still connected that haven't been cut, um, 
I'll take all there's no paint imperfections that I notice the new head sculpt looks great um, the lighter color looks great um, and because of the paint imperfection on the helmet I'll go ahead and I'll give this one a 9 out of uh, 9 out of 10 because this is still a good figure for the little imperfections that I found so if you've got these uh, remastered figures um, let me know like comment subscribe let me know if you liked it let me know if you were missing any um, accessories um, let me know if anything was wrong with it, any quality control issues if you search Instagram Facebook TikTok, and Twitter for the Cajun Toe Boulder you can find me on there I will answer quicker on Instagram or Facebook but I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Just overall, thanks for everything. And? Thanks for coming out. <laughs>